Arlington National Cemetery. We are at the entrance and we're going through security. Check this out. I did an introduction at the entrance where the security checkpoint was, but then a policeman politely asked me not to record at the security checkpoint. We're doing a guided tour on one of these trailer thingies. We're gonna get on and off, and I'm gonna relay to you the information as it is taught to me, pretending that it's my information and that I'm smart and that I actually knew it. You guys ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right, everybody, walk my boy. Some very interesting facts about the Arlington National Cemetery, 621 acres. It used to be the home of the Confederate Army Commander Robert E. Lee. It's actually an active cemetery. There are over 430,000 people buried here and there are 20 to 30 funerals a day. Security specified that I'm not allowed to record any processions of funerals that are going on today, not that I would have ever done anything like that in the first place. But this is not just a monument, this is a living monument. People are being buried here on a daily basis. cadets are here from North Carolina, North Edgecombe High School, GROTC, and we're on a tour about the levels of government, and they're here today to lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Beautiful. And when they finish here, we're going to go over to the National Mall and finish our tour. And we chose to put them in their uniform, and what you see here is the commander right there, Colonel Lopez, and her staff is standing there with her. Amazing. Okay. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. What is the JROTC? The JROTC is a junior reserve officer training corps. We obviously, um, as the title says, it trains young people to become better citizens. And they do that by going through the military. You don't specifically have to enlist into the military. Going to the military it just teaches you how to be a better person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
Thus ends our tour of the Arlington National Cemetery. We couldn't get to the Iwo Jima Memorial because there was an active funeral going on. Just to close this out with some amazing history about the Arlington National Cemetery. The federal government designated Arlington a national cemetery in 1864 when the casualties from the Civil War began to outpace capacity for cemeteries in the Washington area. The first military serviceman buried here was Private William Christman, buried on May 13, 1864. He didn't actually die in battle, he died of measles and complications before ever serving. There are approximately 16,000 Civil War soldiers buried in the cemetery. And despite the Millennium Expansion Project, the Arlington National Cemetery is expected to reach peak capacity by 2040. It's a little overwhelming both in terms of history and impact. The trees are amazing, the rows of tombstones are too much to really fathom. Definitely something to stop and see if you're ever in the area. A tremendous amount of history in here. It's actually, there's too much. Too much. Peace out.